It ain't happening. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, the one who knows best. And today I want to talk to you guys about a topic that I see is really popular right now, both on Twitter and YouTube, and that is the potential of a One Piece fighting game being developed by Arc System Works that could be coming out. Now, I know my title says one thing, and then the way I started this video off says another. And for those of you who know me, I'm not a One Piece fan. So full disclosure, some might even go so far as to say that I'm a One Piece hater, but I'm not trying to be a hater in this video because One Piece isn't a series that I hate. It just wasn't for me. You know, I read over 100 chapters of the manga. I didn't really care for it that much. I understand a lot of One Piece fans exist out there and they're very passionate about their series. And you might dislike this video, drop me a hate comment or off rip because it has happened many times in the past. But, but I, none, none of that matters. I want to talk about this because I see a lot of people getting their hopes and expectations up uh, with very little information or where this even came from. And I kind of want to address it because I feel like people are getting their hopes up too high for something that doesn't really exist or something that, well, let me explain. So if you take a look over here, you can see that we have this article from IGN. Arc System Works CEO doesn't want Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue to compete with each other. Now, I know that headline doesn't really have a whole lot to do with what we're talking about, but we'll get into it in just a moment. But I mean, before we even dive into this, it goes without saying that there are a ton of anime fans out there and a ton of them play video games and a ton of them play fighting games. And ever since the release of Dragon Ball Fighters back on January 26th of 2018, it has been the dream for everyone to get their favorite anime series in a Dragon Ball Fighter style video game. Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, Hunter x Hunter, whatever your favorite shonen anime is, whatever your favorite battle series is, we all want to see it as a fighting game developed by Arc System Works because DBFZ was so popular, so cool, so fun. And even though obviously I played the game a lot and I'm not super happy with its current state, nevertheless, I would love to see basically any anime get a fighting game in that style, including One Piece, even though I'm not a big One Piece fan because that would be super sick for One Piece fans. And also I would try it anyway, just because I like the game of Dragon Ball Fighter so much that I'd be willing to try it for almost any other series. That being said, let's actually get into this article so we can see where this all came from. And we'll, we'll actually read the whole article and then you'll see like kind of where this whole thing started. Uh, so when it comes to fighting games, Arc System Works is the top of the food chain. Between Guilty Gear Strive, Blaze Blue, Dragon Ball Fighters, DNF Duel, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, and other, Arc System is the most active developer of quality fighting games in the business right now. And as such, there's no shortage of dream games that fans would love to see the developer tackle, as we just addressed. At the Arc World Tour Grand Finals, I got a chance to sit down with Arc System Works CEO, Minoru Kadoka. I may not be pronouncing that name correctly, so forgive me, to talk about some of those potential dream games, the future of Blaze Blue, and his commitment to pursue new IB collaboration quality or opportunities, sorry. Uh, now, this isn't the first time this is being addressed. Uh, when you'll, you'll see it here uh, in the article, but there was a statement that came out recently where Arxis said, uh, you know, we want to collaborate with other IPs and make more games, basically. And that's what kind of spawned the whole idea, like, yo, we really could get like a Bleach Fighters or a, a My Hero Fighters or a Naruto Fighters or a One Piece Fighters one day, right? Moving on. Uh, so here we have IGN and then the CEO. I believe we spoke at EVO last year and you mentioned that you wanted to be more aggressive about pursuing opportunities to collaborate with new IP owners. Is this still a major priority for you? And in the intervening months, do you feel like you've made some progress in that regard? And he replies with, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a priority at this point, but what we did say at EVO about trying to create more IP collaboration games is before EVO, during EVO and after EVO, we're still making steps toward that goal. So as a goal for ourselves and for our company, we really want to make something that makes the fighting game community happy. So whether that's using other IPs or using our own games, we are just going to keep pushing forward to continue to make the members of the FTC satisfied, which basically just says, hey, whether it's other IPs or the games that we already have created, we just want to keep making cool fighting games. Nothing a whole lot to go off of there. For example, our previous games were with Bandai Namco, Psy Games, as of today, Nexon, and we are in talks with other people about possibilities, which could mean anything, uh, we're continuing to push forward so that the community can enjoy. So I can't go into details, obviously, at this point, but essentially that is the answer to your question. IGN then goes on to say, or ask, uh, reflecting back on two years of Guilty Gear Strive, how do you feel about the performance of Strive and the future of the Guilty Gear series as a whole? Uh, so regarding just Guilty Gear Strive, it both kind, it both hit and kind of exceeded all of our projected expectations. Along with that, of course, we put out the two seasons that we have already, uh, we put out the two seasons that we have already. We want the game to continue on and continue strong. So we plan to continue making those seasons available, but in terms of planning for the next game and the Guilty Gear series for now, we're sticking to the seasons. So of course, there's still a lot to be done for the game, but once that is finished, uh, then they can start thinking of other things, but that is still a long way to go. Uh, so we can kind of skip past some of this stuff here because this has a whole lot to do with Guilty Gear, and then we'll get to the meat and potatoes of why you guys are really here, and it comes right here at the end. Um, so, the final question IGN asks the CEO of Arxis in this interview is what started this whole thing, this whole conversation, and when I read this, this did not make me think at all that there was a potential One Piece game in the works that this would happen. This gives me zero hope, zero belief whatsoever that a One Piece game is on the horizon or in the works. Um, but this gave a lot of hope to other people. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be hopeful for that or that you shouldn't 
you want that but don't expect that because this this is where this came from right this is this is how this started finally ask says ign i'm going to bring up a game that is i think a dream game in the idea of fighting game fans and it's something that often gets brought up as something that they want to see arc system works do do you have any thoughts about potentially ever doing a one piece fighting game that's how this started somebody at ign brought it up this had nothing to do with any hints like any foreshadowing, anything at all that the CEO said in regards to doing a One Piece fighting game. And I want that to be made abundantly clear because I see so many people talking about this on Twitter right now, and I've seen several YouTube videos pop up in my recommended and in my subscriptions and stuff. And I just wanna make sure that everyone understands and is crystal clear on the fact that the CEO himself did not bring this up or say anything at all about potentially working on something like this. And his response to this was, as I said before, I want to work with other people and use what resources we have to create a fun game for the FGC to really rally behind. However, One Piece is something to think about. I can't say whether we're thinking about One Piece specifically. I can't say, oh yeah, One Piece, yes or no. I can't say either way, but it doesn't mean it's decided or doesn't mean it's outside the realm of possibility. You really have to understand that we're a small company. We can't take up any project that, co that comes across. We have to consider our resources. And I believe earlier in here, yes, in just the previous response, he said we have around 200 members under our house and with that limited amount of people, the limited amount of resources we can put towards games. So with that being said, he basically said, I can't tell you whether that's a yes or no, which to some people could say maybe, right? But he did not confirm nor deny the possibility, like the possibility, let alone the production of a One Piece fighting game. And that's kind of all I really want to address here today. Again, I'm not a huge One Piece fan, but I'm not praying or banking on it not being a thing because uh, I would I'd be down for that. I'd be cool with that. Like y'all One Piece fans, y'all deserve a, a cool game. That'd be dope because historically, I don't think One Piece games have been that great. I haven't played any of them because obviously I'm not a One Piece fan, but from what I've seen and from what I've heard uh, about these games and what I've seen from the gameplay, they never look that good. And most people don't seem to be that satisfied with them. Y'all might got a couple that were some hitters, but it's not like a Naruto or Dragon Ball where, yeah, they got some bad games themselves and they've got some bad games lately. But historically, like those have been well received, sold really well, have been a lot of fun and considered some of the best anime games of all time. One Piece doesn't have that same thing. Um, but with that, um, yeah, I see a lot of people just getting like just this well of hope within themselves that a One Piece fighting game by Arxis is coming out. And as cool as that would be, and even though I would play it myself, cause why not? If it's developed by Arxis, it's gotta be decent, right? Cause even though DNF Duel didn't do that well, I really, really enjoyed that game. And I've enjoyed every game I've played from Arxis. So any fighting game they put out, I'm probably gonna give it a shot. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily gonna love every single one, but every fighting game I have played since since 2017 from them, I have, I have liked, I have enjoyed. Um, but this article does not at all make me believe that a One Piece fighting game is coming out. And I don't think you guys should believe that either. Keep hope alive for sure. You no, know, keep keep wishing and hoping and praying. But uh, I just, yeah, I just felt like I saw a lot of people basically almost acting or talking as if like, yo, yo, there, there might be a One Piece game on the way. When, when realistically, this only comes from the fact that the IGN like interviewer or reporter brought it up. And if you you could replace literally any other series, maybe the IGN person himself is a One Piece fan. Cause frankly, I feel like I see people say Naruto and Bleach way more than One Piece. Maybe that's just a bias on my end because obviously I'm in those circles a lot more cause I like both those series better. And Naruto is the one that I feel like I see by far more than anything else. Um, and it's something that got that gets brought up in my YouTube comments and in my Twitch comments a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, it was even on a damn near daily basis. So much so to the point where in my Twitch chat, I have commands already set up. Uh, where the bot will reply to you with questions about potential Naruto fighters, or like what teams I would play, what characters, you know what I'm saying? Just because those types of questions got brought up in my chat so often, right? But um, yeah, I, I feel like if anything, maybe the IGN reporter is just like, he's a One Piece fan, he's like, yo, what you think about doing a One Piece game? And everyone's like, yo, yo, One Piece game, yo! And I'm like, it's, he could have he could have just as easily said Bleach, Naruto, My Hero Academia, Fairy Tale, Hunter Hunter, and the reporter, I mean, the, the CEO would have given the exact same response if you ask me, so. That's all that really was like it's just, this video feels like I'm just raining on people's parade, but I just kind of wanted to put this out there because it, it don't I don't want to say it's like misinformation was being spread, but it's almost like it's almost it was like false hope, like false hope was being spread uh, as if something was said or reported that made it seem like this game is like a very real possibility and it's not any more likely than them doing a Naruto game right now. Uh, I would love to be wrong about the fact that they aren't doing this or that there isn't anything in the works. And I'm not even necessarily saying that there isn't for sure. Um, but this doesn't confirm anything at all, uh, but it is fun to talk about. With that being said though, if you guys could have any anime <laughs> get a fighting game right now developed by Arc System Works, what would you pick? For me, it would be Naruto. Naruto Fighters is like my dream game at this point. 
Dragon Ball Fighters gave me everything I could have po probably ever wanted in a Dragon Ball fighting game other than created characters, but I wouldn't want created characters in a game like this. That's what a game like Xenoverse was for. Like Xenoverse, b between Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2, I guess, both of those games, like, just we're just saying the Xenoverse series. Between Dra Dragon Ball Xenoverse series and the Dragon Ball Fighter series, I got pretty much everything I ever wanted out of a Dragon Ball game. And if I could get a Naruto game that's just like DBFZ, I don't like created characters as cool and all, but let's keep those in the games like Shinobi Strike and Xenoverse. Keep them out of the competitive fighting games, right? But if I can get a Naruto fighting game by Arxis that's very similar to, to Dragon Ball Fighters, like I, I don't see how that wouldn't be my my favorite game of all time unless they, unless they just fumble the back completely and it's horrible. So that's why I stand on that. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with the like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content that I'm bringing you. With all that being said, let's finish off today. And remember, nothing can happen to you from the back. Later.